Analysts say if defense budget cuts do happen, they could also mean bad news for a major employer in Mobile. Yeah, Fox 10 News reporter Steve Alexander has been digging deeper, uh, looking at the possible effects of a sequestration in Mobile. He's standing by live on Mobile's riverfront. Hi there, Steve. Hello there, and that employer is a big one, Austell USA. As a matter of fact, you see two of the ships that Austell builds for the Navy parked right in front. And of course, if there's bad news for employers, there would be bad news for workers. Austell USA builds littoral combat ships, or LCS, and joint high speed vessels for the Navy. Stuart Slade is a Navy analyst for Forecast International, a Connecticut company that provides defense analysis and intelligence. This is what he says about potential budget cuts when it comes to the shipyard's military work. They are dependent on two programs and two programs only, both of which are vulnerable to cuts. Uh, if they lose both programs, there's no reason for Austell to remain operating in the United States. Not his military operations anyway. Slade says the LCS program is especially vulnerable to cuts because it's so big. Now there are two classes of LCS ship designs. Class 1, built by a group formed by Lockheed, Contract and Class 2, built by Austin. It could be that one of the two designs will be scrapped completely. As I said, they're complementary, so I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest that probably we'll see an equal pain for all cut. In other words, the cut spread equally across the two classes. Uh, that's not too bad from Austell's point of view. And Some another encouraging news. note for Austell? I suspect if one of the LCSs was going to be cut completely, it would be the LCS-1 rather than the LCS-2. The Austell design, uh, I said, it has a lot of very valuable features to it. It has a large mission bay, and it has a lovely large flight deck that helicopter pilots absolutely adore. Senator Jeff Sessions talked about the possibility of cuts back in July of last year. We are in a, a tough time financially, and if the sequester that's in place now is not altered, I think we'll be cutting the Defense Department way too much and could damage uh, programs like this. And you're looking live at that ship that Stuart Slade said that the helicopter pilots just absolutely adore the, L the, adore the LCS littoral combat ship that is parked right in front of Austell right now. Austell right now is employing 3,200 people. And we reached out to Congressman Joe Bonner, also to Senator Jeff Sessions and Richard Shelby. We have not heard back from them about their views on the issue. They're traveling the state, meeting with some constituents. But if sequestration does happen, Right now, the big day would be March 1st. That's when the first cuts could be made to budgets. All the cuts, though, would take place over a seven-month period. So we'll see what the future is of those two ships and more like it. Reporting live from the riverfront, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News. All right, Steve, real quickly, before you go, what is Austell saying about all of this? Right now, nothing, as a matter of fact. They say they're going to probably hold any possible comment until tomorrow. Why tomorrow? That's because that's when the chief of naval operations is coming into Oslo to take a look, probably at those two ships you see behind me and some of the other operations that are going on at Oslo. All right, thank you. And again, Steve Alexander reporting. You know, these